Hello everyone, today I am going to install Oracle 19C on Linux Red Hat 8.6. Also in this video I will talk about X11 forwarding and its problem. In this video I am trying to install Oracle 19C on new version of Red Hat. And also I will be solve this problem. This is my Red Hat server, I am going to check the subscription status of this server with subscription manager with list option. In my channel you can find another videos related to subscription manager. Check Linux updates with yum update command. I always use nano as a text editor, so trying to install it. Yes. Check the IP address of this server. We have to config host name of this server to install Oracle. Open hosts file and edit IP and host name for this host. Press Ctrl X and then Yes to save these changes. Going to temp directory. We can prepare Oracle prerequisites manually or by downloading one packet and install it. Everything will be prepared automatically. To do this, just paste this command to download installer packet and with yum you can install it. In the comments, you can find all these commands. Yes. In the prerequisites, we have just set the password of the Oracle user. As you know, we cannot install Oracle database as the root. All group created automatically with previous script. Now that's time to disable Cell Linux. To do that, open config file. Change enforcing to disable. Ctrl X and yes to save it. Stop firewall service and disable it. We install all the Xterm and Xorg packages to enable X11 forwarding and get the graphical interface through SSH.
create db home directory as i told you you can find these commands in the comments create aura data directory Set Oracle user and O install group owner to U01 and U02 directory. Set Oracle user and O install group permission to these directories. Reboot server. As you can see, after xterm and xorg package installed, x11 forwarding enabled here. With xhost plus, you can connect to GUI through the SSH from any host. Create a script directory in the Oracle user home directory. Create a script and name it as a set env.sh to import Oracle required variables. Paste these lines in it and save. With this command, make this script as a user startup script. That means every time Oracle user logging to the system, this script automatically will be executed. Also give the permission to Oracle user to run this script with these commands. Now I'm going to download Oracle database installer file. This is Oracle database installer for the Linux. You can download it from here. Click on download Linux x64. After you give the username and password, download will be start. Create an account on Oracle website is free and it's very easy. Okay, Oracle installer file downloaded. Now logging in as an Oracle user. When you are using X11 forwarding, if your client and server on the same subnet do not require open any port in the firewall. But when you are on the different subnet, you have to open port 6000 in the firewall. You can see the direction of the port and SSH direction. That's very important because if your port is not open, you got an error during installation. Set the display variable with this command. 10.10.38 is my client IP address. Check the Oracle home variable. Go 
going to Oracle Home Directory. Upload downloaded file to this directory. Unzip this file with O and Q parameters. Because I am trying to install Oracle 19C on Red Hat 8.6, I have to change CV underline assume underline distinct to latest supported version in the config file. To do this, uncomment this line and instead of OEL5 write Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.9 and save it. If you don't do that, you got the error during installation. Now we can run the installer. Come back to Oracle Home Directory. Execute run installer. Okay, you can continue this wizard based on your requirements. You can also follow my steps to install Oracle database. You can ignore this warning. This is summary of installation. After click on install, Oracle database will be installed. Ok, Oracle database installed.
if you run net start you can see port 5021 is oracle default port is on listening status and everything work fine i hope you enjoy from this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and watch another videos if you have any question you can ask in the comment and like the video have a good day bye bye